Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Hope you guys enjoyed the last one. I know I said I was gonna be posting once a week, but I got crazy busy. So today, in this video, we're gonna walk you guys through kind of like a day in the life, full day of eating, everything like that. But right now, as you can tell, I'm walking. I'm getting ready to go to the gym, do my 45 minutes of fasted cardio this morning, do my check-ins, and we're gonna get back here for meal number one. I have less than three months left in 2023. I hope you guys are getting after all of your goals because at the end of this year, who is really gonna make it? You have to be able to the one to say, I made it. You know what I mean? Like you have to be able to put yourself in that mindset where you cannot let the negativity get to you, all the haters get to you, and just everyone that ever put shit on your name get to you because you're better than that. At the end of the day, just remember, no matter what you want to accomplish, if you put your head down and grind, you can do it. But we are rolling up to the gym right now. I'll show you guys what it looks like and how much cardio I usually do, like what I do it for. But yeah, I'll see you guys inside. All right, so here is like the little gym at my housing complex. We have like two ellipticals, two treadmills, and then we do have a bike machine back here. Bike and a cable machine. So since I do have bad joints, I usually just do the bike for about 25, 30 minutes. And then I hop on the treadmill for about another 10 to 20. But I'm gonna go ahead and start my cardio. So let's get on to the rest of the video. All right, so we just got back to the crib from doing our 45 minutes of fasted cardio. Now it is time to do my check-ins. I'm gonna show you guys how I am looking right now. Sitting about 220, I'm guessing. Um, kind of honestly trying to cut, but honestly, I could be taking it a lot seriously. Um, but honestly, just like been really focusing on getting my protein intake in and really training with hard intensity. But yeah, this is how I'm looking. Okay, so here's how I'm looking, sitting around 223 pounds, actually not 220, front men's physique. Working on building some of that chest definition. Delts are coming in pretty nice. Tricep. Overall happy with the way I look? No. Do you think I can definitely beat this physique? Yes. All right, so that is how I am looking right now. We're about to make meal number one and get on to the rest of the day. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what meal number one is after I have it all finished. I'm gonna be making a Instagram reel and a TikTok for this one so you guys will be able to see fully how to cook it because I don't wanna make this video like 30 minutes long, if that makes sense. Alrighty, breakfast is served. We made some high protein, low calorie cheese fries. I'm gonna be placing these on the Instagram and the TikTok very soon. If you guys have not already seen it already, go make sure you go check it out. Follow the recipe and let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys tried it. But right now we're gonna go ahead and eat some breakfast and I think we're actually gonna order some plane tickets. Um, so as a lot of you guys know, summer shredding in October is coming up very soon and I am not competing, which means I can actually go out and enjoy Houston. When I was there last, I was on prep. I couldn't go to the clubs, couldn't go to the nice restaurants, couldn't really do anything because I was so busy with everything else. But then we have a lot in store with Alf Lion and just myself. I have a lot of ideas for content already, so I hope you guys are ready for all of that as well. But yeah, I think we're going to eat breakfast and get the rest of our day started. As you can peep the apron, Chef B-Rod, former fatty. You guys told me to get the apron and I can't let you guys down. But yeah, I'll see you guys back here as soon as we get done eating some breakfast and then I think we're gonna go wash the car because my car is disgusting. All right, so we just got changed, cleaned up a little bit from our cardio. Now we're about to go take this disgustingly thing of a car to the car wash because your boy has been slacking and not like really taking care of it lately just because I've been so busy with everything like moving, work, content for you guys. I've honestly been putting it off so much because I honestly don't really drive that much. But yeah, it's my day off, so I thought I'd take you guys along to the car wash. The inside needs cleaned, the exterior needs cleaned, and I gotta get all of the nasty bugs off because if you guys live in Colorado, you guys know how bad the mosquitoes and the flies are up here next to the lakes. But I'll see you guys over at the car wash. Definitely gonna go through an automatic one because it's just so much faster and so much easier and it's honestly cheaper. Plus they offer like free vacuums and shit. I've only been to like an automatic car wash, believe it or not, like once or twice in my life. So I honestly think it's like something that's super cool. All right, so we just got the interior all done. As you can tell, it looks pretty clean actually. We're actually about to go inside, hop in line and run through the automatic car wash. And then we're gonna run to the dollar store because they have some 
fire ass like dollar air fresheners. If you guys have not made it to the dollar store yet, you guys are slacking when you're cleaning your car. All right, so I made it over to Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take you guys inside and show you guys some things that I pick up since I just cleaned my car, like air fresheners, maybe glass cleaners, and some other miscellaneous crap that I probably don't need. So I actually don't have too much here, but we did pick up some Midnight Cool air fresheners. Along with some of these Cool Sense air fresheners to put in my cup holders because honestly, they're not name brand, but they still get the job done. Especially when you have two or three of them instead of paying like $10 for a normal air freshener. Okay, so honestly, we did find a lint roller too because you can never not have a lint roller. It's super beneficial for your car. Honestly, I'm super let down by what they don't have. It's crazy. I've seen so much more in other stores. All right, so we just got back to the crib from going to the store and we got a package on our front door. I'm gonna show you guys like, that we got a package, but like I'm do I'm recording everything on like a tripod, so it's kind of like hard to do all that shit. Ooh, it's our monthly supply of Alphine supplements. So it's our monthly supply of Alphine supplements. Looks like we got the Burn 2.0. I use this every morning for my fasted cardio. Then we got some pre-workout here. This is Core Alphine Punch or Fruit Punch. This is the lower stem with only 175 milligrams per serving instead of 325. Had to restock our protein, so we got the PB and Gains and the Hulk milk, which is basically just some vanilla ice cream. Yeah, so this is one of the benefits of being an athlete for a supplement company is supplements every month. But honestly, I cannot say that any of this would be possible without you guys like watching this video, using my discount code, you know, getting supplements for yourself. So honestly, I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys because this would not be possible without you guys. Um, I think I'm gonna make a protein shake right now with half a scoop of vanilla ice cream and half a scoop of PB and Gains. Um, some ice, maybe some PB2 powder. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So good. So we use 400 milliliters of our unsweetened almond milk, half a serving of PB2 powder, half a scoop of PB and Gains protein powder by Alphine, and half a scoop of the vanilla ice cream by Alphine. So it's kind of like a PB vanilla ice cream, if that makes sense. Kind of blends all together, especially with the PB2 powder. This 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 did it over the top. But you guys can use code BROD, you guys already know on Alphine products. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna drink this bad boy up. I think we're gonna go ahead and probably take a shower and get ready for the day. It is 12.30 and your boy needs to get some stuff done. We just got all changed up. Black Gymshark tee, blue Gymshark shorts and probably gonna throw on like the Fragment Lows or something. But here is my room. I don't know if you guys have ever like really seen it. I don't know if I've shown the YouTube. Pretty basic, don't mind the dirty bed, haven't made it yet. But here is like my, uh... but here's like my board shorts and my metal from when I competed in summer shredding. So that's like always gonna be my wall. I think it's really cool that I placed it there. And then I do have a giant ass mirror, a decent sized closet, nothing too crazy for a small bedroom. Gonna keep it basic, gonna get some wall, more wall decor. But right now we're gonna head to Costco, make a couple videos for you guys. And I'm gonna give you guys some hacks on how to sell if something is on sale or if it's regular priced at Costco. All right, so I'm to Costco and I'm gonna show you guys one hack when you guys are looking at buying something that says it's on sale. So 99 cents sale price, it's not really on sale. It's literally just what Costco charges. The nearest dollar, it's on sale. It's bull crap. So when you see like 49, 59, and like 79, 89, that means it's actually on sale from the manufacturer. That's not a Costco thing, that's like a manufacturer thing. And when you guys see an asterisk on the sale tag right here, that means it is not restocking. So if you guys like the item, run and grab as many of you can if you see the asterisk, because that means they're never gonna bring it back. All right, so there is your Costco budget hack that you guys have probably never known about. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys have known this or you are now gonna go run to Costco and get some shit. All right, so we just got back to the crib, gonna have some chicken and rice, because believe it or not, I've only had like a thousand calories today, which is crazy. So I have like eight ounces of Flex Pro Meals chicken, pre-made chicken, throw in the microwave for two minutes, and a pack of Uncle Ben's rice. So literally, it takes like four minutes to make, so you guys need to quit making excuses on going out to eat. But I'm gonna eat this, and then we're gonna hit a nasty back day. And today I'm gonna rock some of the new stuff I just got. So this is the Core Fruit Punch, 170 milligrams of caffeine. Just because I have had like six, 700 milligrams of caffeine already, and it's already 4 p.m. So I don't really need much, but I want enough to get me going, if that makes sense. 
And then for pump, I think I'm gonna rock with peach rings because I think fruit punch and peach rings would make a fire combo. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna eat this up. And then afterwards, I don't have much planned. I'm probably honestly just gonna like work on content, edit some videos, do some laundry, nothing too crazy that you guys wanna see. So I think I'm probably gonna end the video here. Um, but I just wanna say thank you to every one of you guys that have watched till the end of the video. If you guys could like, comment, share, and subscribe, mean the world to me. Drop a comment what your favorite part of the video was. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me know what you guys want to see more on the channels in general. Um, because honestly, I need ideas, if that makes sense. I suck at long form content. I'm sure by watching this video, you can tell. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys are having a great month of September and peace.